Hello everybody, it's Louis Malagodi here and welcome to my channel. I want to talk about one thing today and that's this. The Boss CE2 which I have recently procured. Silver screw, black label, made in 1981. But this pedal's 40 years old. That's mad. And yes, I do have the box. The, box. the original analog chorus pedal. Well, apart from the CE1 but that was made for keyboards anyway. The CE2 was Boss's first compact pedal, released in 1979, and people are still copying this circuit today. But what makes these original made in Japan ones so sought after and so well, expensive? I don't think it's purely because of their availability and their collectability. There's a certain vibe to these older ones, and I'm gonna explore some of the reasons why I think they're so special. Now, I use this on every guitar track in the intro, with varying settings. Even though it's just a two knob pedal, it has so many great sounds in it. So let's have a look at some of my favorites. Now guys, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell if you haven't already. That would be absolutely grand. But without further ado, the Boss CE2. <laughs> so here's a couple of my favorite settings with the CE2. First of all, we're gonna go for like a 80s cheesy movie soundtrack sort of style thing. Um, I'm going to use some other pedals to help out as well. Uh, first of all this is the SL67 sort of set clean. Got the exotic SP compressor for some squish. Belly Pork Deluxe for some delay. Set to the uh, in-between position on a strap. Add the CE2 and you got this. And that's a sort of lowish rate, high depth sort of thing. And you can play stuff like this. So um, I love that. Uh, and the next sort of setting I like is a sort of faux Leslie thing. Um, so I'm going to set the belly epoch to a kind of like slap back. And um, then go with a high rate on the C2 and high depth, sort of three quarters each. And you've got this. I wanted to show you another part of the CE2's sound is actually the kind of EQ changes it makes to the signal. Now I've seen um, Joe Bonamassa talk about this. He uses he actually uses a TC stereo chorus and he uses it to split into multiple amps. But he also uses it to tighten up the bottom end because he's he's running fenders full full blast, and when you're running amps full blast. The, the low end can tend to get a bit out of control. So um, I thought that it, I thought that's interesting and the CE2 also does a similar thing. So what I've got now is I've got the Sir SF67 on 10, so it's full blast, and I've also got the bass on 10, so let's just hear that. <laughs> So when you're running amps on 10, like I said, the uh, bottom end does sometimes get out of control. So let's just see what the CE2's effect is on that. So I've got the rate and the depth actually on minimum. So there's not a lot of chorusing happening. So let's hear that. So as you can hear, it's kind of tightening up the bottom end slightly, and it's also giving a sort of mid-range presence as well, which I think is really nice. Um, I actually used that setting 
for some of the parts on the intro, I used it on the distorted um, guitars and the lead guitars as well. It just makes it sit in a track nicely. So I think that's part of the magic of the CE2 is it has that EQ shift and um, uh, I don't think many of the clones actually actually take that into account because I'm not sure it's really some something that people appreciate. I know the CE2 Waza doesn't have the same um, EQ effect on the tone, so I just thought that was interesting. Cool, so that's the CE2, right? Amazing. Now, I also have this, which is the Chorus CE2 made by Boo Instruments, which is a company out of the UK. This is like a boutique clone of the CE2, and I emailed Brian at Boo Instruments, and he told me it's pretty much a one-to-one -one circuit, one-to-one -one clone, uh, except it's got true bypass, which is cool. Um, so it also does that bass cut and that kind of mid push, which a lot of the other clones of the C2 don't do. But that's where I think the magic of this pedal is at. It's got I know the guy the guys at um, that pedal show talk about this. It's got a really nice mid range character that just suits the guitar perfectly. So let's see how these compare. Let's get to it. <laughs> So that's where I think the magic of the CE2 is. The jittery movement, the bass cut, the emphasized mid-range. I think that's where the sound lies. Now the Boo chorus is the closest that I know of, very close. But please let me know in the comments if there's anything out there that does something similar. I'd love to see it. I know a lot of pedal builders out there think that retaining the bass, not affecting the EQ, is actually an upgrade. And obviously a lot of players like that and prefer it. But for someone like me who loves the old school stuff, you know, that's all part of it. All the quirks and how you actually integrate that into part of your sound is awesome. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.